Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to talk about using Firebase push notifications on a Node Systems mobile app. So after this session, you'll be able to configure the Firebase push notification service to be used in your mobile apps. Integrate said push notifications on your mobile apps and finally collect information regarding your notifications using Firebase Analytics. So what is Firebase? Firebase is an application development platform offered by Google that offers several uh, tools to help you on the development of your applications, such as cloud hosting, machine learning, authentication, in the analytic, in the analytics part, you can collect crash analytics, monitor the performance of your applications, do custom events, and finally, on the user engagement part, it offers push notifications, which is the focus of the session. You can get started using Firebase by going to firebase.google.com. Now, before we begin, I'm going to go over some of <clears throat> the work that is already done within the Auto Systems Studio, so we can focus on the push notification part. So first of all, I have installed the Firebase mobile plugin that is available on the Forge. All you need to do is look for Firebase mobile and install it on your environment. Next, I already have two applications, one mobile, one web. Very simple, very straightforward. The mobile app is called Firebase Push Mobile and it's using the Firebase mobile module as a dependency. And from the Firebase module is, is using these client actions, you need cloud messaging, you register device and log event, and the Firebase cloud messaging block. On the web application, which is called Firebase Push Web, I have a dependency with the Firebase middleware module from where I'm using the send notification to user server action. With that said, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create my Firebase project. In order to do that, you go to console.firebase.google.com, authenticate yourself, and this is the first page on your, on your console. And as you can see, I already have a project here called Firebase Push Message-2. This is the project I have already created, but we're going to go over the process of creating a new project. So I'm gonna click on Add Project. I'm gonna call it Test Push Message. Click on Checkbox and Create Project. And as soon as the project is created, I click on Continue. And the first thing I need to do is I need to configure my mobile application here. And as you can see, I can config configure an iOS, an Android, and a web application. For this demo, uh, we're gonna do an Android app since I have an Android device here with me. Uh, but the process similar to iOS as well. So I'm gonna click on the Android icon. And first thing I need is the Android package name, which is the application ID that is set on OutSystem Service Studio. So I'm gonna go to the Service Studio. And here I have my mobile application, it's called Firebase Push Mobile App. On the native platform settings, I'm going to copy my application ID. And since I'm gonna use it later on, I'm just going to uh, paste it here on a notepad. Go back to Firebase and paste my ID here. Essentially for for this demo purposes, all I need to, to set is the application ID. So I'm gonna click on register app. And once the application is registered, I have a configuration file, a JSON configuration file, which I need to download. <clears throat> and once it's downloaded, I'm going to my downloads folder. So here's the JSON file. And the next thing I need to do is put this JSON file 
on a zip file. So I'm gonna add it to a zip file. And if I were creating this project for iOS and Android, I would have both configuration files for iOS and Android under the same zip file. So I'm gonna click on okay. So now I have a Google services.zip file, which I'm gonna go back to Service Studio to my mobile application on the data tab and I drag and drop the zip file onto the resources folder in the data tab. As you can see here, I've already did this for my mobile application. So here's the file name, google-services.zip. Then what I need to do is set the deploy action to deploy to target directory. And your target directory is going to be Firebase dot your application ID. So just type Firebase dot and paste the full application ID right after that. Now, after doing this, you need to <clears throat> register your application with the Firebase service. And it is recommended that you do that on two parts of your application. The first one going on the logic tab on the client actions on the on application ready uh, on the on application ready action what you need to do is you have an if checking if your user id is different from null what does that mean that means that if your user have already logged in on your application and if it did then all you need to do is call the init cloud messaging client action and that's it. If your user have not yet authenticated, just end this action. And then you go to the second part, which is on the login screen, you have the login client action. And on the login client action, right after the do login server action, you just call init cloud messaging again. So what init cloud messaging do, as I said, is it register this application with, uh, with the Firebase service. One last thing that is optional, but uh, depending on your use case is recommended, is to make sure that your users will be able to see push notif notifications, even if they are within your application. So of course, uh, push notifications are going to be shown, if your user is outside the application, but if they are within the application and you still want to show a push notification to him, what you need to do is go to the layout block and on my widget tree, I have added the Firebase, the Firebase cloud messaging block. Now this Firebase, Firebase cloud messaging block is what enables you to show uh, notifications even from within the application. Now I've added it to the layout block to ensure that I, I will be able to receive notifications on any of the screens on my application. Of course, if you want to do this on select screens, then you shouldn't do it in the layout block. You should add the cloud messaging block on the specific screens that, that you want to show notifications. But in my case, uh, I just want to show notifications wherever I am on my application. Now, on the layout block, I've also added a client action called Firebase, Firebase Cloud Messaging New Notification. You can call it whatever you want. And over here, I am showing a message where I'm going to show the title that is included on this notification data parameter that is received as uh, input on the client action. So this client action is receiving the notification data. I'm simply taking the title and showing it as a message on my screen. Of course, once again, you can do whatever you want with this content. Within the notification data, you have the title, the message, uh, deep link information, and if the app was in background when the user re received 
the notification. So this is essentially what you need to configure on your application to have Firebase working. Now let's talk about how we send push notifications to my mobile application. In order to demonstrate that, as I said, I've created a very simple uh, web application that is basically one page with two text fields where I can configure the title and the body of the notification and a couple of buttons one of them sending a push message and one of them sending a push message with a zip link now they are both uh, calling the same uh, client action same screen action sorry called send push message and we're going to see what this screen action does in a second uh, so of course i have two local variables title and body attached to these two input fields and my send push message action uh, have an input parameter called has deep link with just a boolean and two local variables one called deep link and one called deep link param uh, they are of the types deep link and deep link param respectively uh, these types are installed when you set the dependencies the deep link uh, variable have uh, a screen name text attribute and a deep link params attribute which have a name and a value and of course my deep link local variable also have the same attributes name and value now let's have a look at what our send push message screen action do so I'm going to double click on it and the first thing I do I check if I have a deep link uh, if I do not have a deep link, let's check this case first. If I do not have a deep link, all I need to do is call the send notification to user server action. Now the send notification to user server action have a few parameters. The first one being the, uh, the cloud message server key, which you can find at your Firebase console. So if you go to the main screen, you click here in the cog on project settings cloud messaging and here you have your server key so I just copied and pasted this key on my server action and that's it now the application ID uh, that's the target application for this notification to be pushed to and this here is configured if I go back to my uh, mobile app On the settings all you need to configure on that parameter is the last section of your app identifier so in my case here what I did was I copied and pasted Firebase push mobile app to the application ID and that's it user ID is the target user that's going to receive the notification in my case i'm using the same user for my mobile and my web application that's why i'm using get user id you can do that to several users if you want uh, the title of your notification and the body of your notification which i'm setting as the two local variables uh, of my screen and finally the deep link variable which i'm attributing the deep link variable of my uh, action and that's it all you need to do is call the same notification to user now in the case that i have a deep link uh, so the deep link will target you directly to a specific screen on your application so if i jump back quickly on my mobile app i have here a uh, a second screen on my application called deep link screen which is uh, once again a very basic uh, screen that all it has is an expression that is connected to the input parameter called the message. So my screen is called deep link screen and my parameter is called message. If I go back to my web application, if I have a deep link, first thing I do is I'm assign where I assign my deep link variable screen name 
to the name of the screen I want to open. So in my case, deep link screen. And then I am setting my deep link param, uh, <coughs> sorry, my deep link param variable. Uh, first of all, with the name of the parameter, which is message, and then the value of the parameter, which I'm just uh, putting a message sentry push message string. After I did that, I call a list append to add this deep link parameter I just configured to the list of deep link parameters of my deep link variable. And that's it. Now my deep link variable is set on my send notification to user. I call and my send notification to user. I set the deep link parameter to my deep link variable. Now I'm going to open my web application. So here I am, and I have here connected to my PC an Android device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have here my the screen of my mobile device, and oops, <laughs> uh, let me go back here. The screen of my mobile device, and I have here installed. the Firebase push <coughs> application. So here it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my uh, mobile screen. And over here on my web application, I'm going to type here push message web test. And on the body, I'm going to type hello world. And I'm going to click on send push message. And as I do that, I immediately get a push message web test uh, notification with the hello world text and my um, application name over here. So if I click on this, I am taken back to my application. Now, if I do the same thing, but with a deep link, and let's change the text to hello world, but was deep link, and I'm going to click on the second button, the send push message with deep link. When I do that, I once again, get a notification. And if I click on it, I go to a different screen, my deep link screen and the message sent through push message. So this is how you uh, send messages using the Firebase push notification service. I hope it was useful and I see you next time.